Hello and welcome to our new Dalmire video now. Today I want to show you how we protect a private residence with the aid of our Dalmire HD cameras. The customer wants to protect the gateways to the premises as well as the entry doors and the back garden. I am now going to show you how we can do this professionally and easily. We will install five cameras in all, three dome cameras in the front entrance and garage area, one dome camera in the patio area and one infrared camera covering the garden. A small hint from experience. Cameras that are installed in plain sight serve as a deterrent to potential intruders. We are now in the back garden, where we want to install two cameras. We have installed the first HD dome camera for the patio area. Here we have used the wide-angle lens because the area we want to observe is very dense and very wide. We have now set our HD infrared camera in a permanent position in the back garden of the private residence. The next step is to carry out a rough alignment of the camera. To do this, we turn the lower screw in the wall arm to swivel the camera. And in the next step, we turn the lateral screw, which allows us to tilt the camera into the desired area. This completes the rough alignment. Fine tuning is accomplished in the web config menu using the digital image shift and lens adjustment. We are now in the room of the residents that serve as the office and we are configuring and fine tuning our HD IR camera. The first step in configuration is to adjust the lens correctly. This is done using the lens control menu item. Here, in a series of distinct steps, we can adjust the zoom and focus. I'll do that now. First the zoom, and then I'll adjust the focus. In the next step, we have to optimize the picture alignment. We can do this quite easily with the digital image shift function. Here we have the option of shifting the picture to the right, the left, up or down. Previously, we made a rough alignment directly at the camera and now we can move and alter the image further from the comfort of our PC. Now I move a little to the right to include the important parts of the patio in the recording as well. It is very important to save this position, otherwise the picture will return to its default setting. Now we move on to the next item, the privacy zones. In the privacy zones, I can define up to four zones. With these zones, I can easily hide private residences that must not be captured in the picture. In this case, I have defined two zones and I have also activated them. I confirm everything with OK. Our configuration is now saved and we go back to the live button to resume showing our preview video. Recording is carried out on the new DMS 2400 Smavia recording server. We have now opened our Smavia viewing client software. I now have the capability to display the output from several cameras simultaneously in a multiple split. Here I am selecting a quad split. Now we have an overview round the entire building. Since we have installed HD cameras here, we can also zoom into the picture digitally. Because we have significantly higher resolution capability than was the case with SD or standard cameras. With the tried and tested P Remote HD function, we are also able to connect to our recording system via narrow bandwidth internet connections. Even in this case, we can view the cameras we want to see in very good HD quality. The bandwidth is shown in the bottom left corner. I have restricted it to 163 kilobits in this demonstration. But you can always adjust the bandwidth at will. If I set it to 2000 kilobits, the image quality improves automatically. Now that we have superb image quality from our HD IR camera in daylight, we also want to check the pictures that are taken by night and at the same time configure the infrared illumination of our camera. 
To do this, I have already logged on to the web config menu for my HDIR camera. Now I go to the video item followed by sensor. There I find the day-night tab where we can configure our infrared illumination individually. In the default or standard setting, the spot variant is pre-selected. But you can also select user-defined and then adjust individually the power of the white LEDs and the spot LEDs. In order to avoid overexposing the picture in the beginning, we adjust the power of our spot LED. In this case, I will switch the spot LED off completely. And there are no more bright beams of light in the picture, just a uniformly lit image, as it should be. One very special highlight is that with the Delmar iPhone app, you can connect to your pictures from anywhere using your iPhone or iPad. To do this, we go to Locations, select our desired location and now I receive the preview images from my cameras. Then I can choose the camera I want to see and this is loaded and opened automatically. From now on, you can sleep soundly because with the Delmeyer iPhone app, you can monitor your cameras wherever you are.